everybody, welcome to the podcast for this month of September 2021, episode 6, not episode 5, as Corva May has pointed out. Um, I'm Iron, um, with me today on the podcast we have Jordan. Hello. And our special guests for this week are Echi. Hi. And Corva May. Hello. Welcome to the podcast, guys. All right, so um, just to start off, uh, just a one quick update on new things that have happened across the PSR community, or so rather the, the leaderboards. There are new category extension boards for Kahlo and XD. I'm not sure where they were before, but now there is a uh, category extensions there. So feel free if you do any of those kinds of runs, you have if there's a special place for those uh, now. So that's really good. Yeah, the, the freshly created. So, like, what kind of categories do we have up here? Do they so, have um, all what are they called? CDs. Uh, all CDs for XD. That's actually on the main balls at the moment. I think there's a plan to move it over, maybe. Cause that um, that run is neat. <laughs> it is a neat run. Uh, and also, I think the trade out. So there's a lot of empty balls at the moment because they are new. I think trade out mains. When I was talking to Sickness, uh, she mentioned that it was most likely going. Not be trade alt mains, but generated alt mains. Because you can't trade in Coliseum until after you've beaten the games, uh... which is kind of, kind of hard to do a trade alt main category in that case. But yeah, just like little things need to be solved again. They're, like, they're very new balls, so. I like the but, Evans. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's how new they are. <laughs> I too find Colosseum questionable a lot of the time, so. Oh, okay, okay. I think it makes it as a question mark. <laughs> not not anybody who runs it, the game itself. Okay. Yeah. All right. <laughs> I have well, different uh, let's opinions. Let's get started. Let's let, let's get started and talk about How do you have different opinions on that one? It's a nightmare game. As a speed run. Speech it was it was nice to me recently. Therefore, it's fine. Oh, okay. <laughs> anyway. No, I respect. I, I actually I actually respect that. That's fair. Okay, so the first uh, first of our noted runs for for this past month is Shiro breaking his own Emerald Any Percent Glitchless World re World Record rather uh, with a two thirty oh four, so about a twenty one second improvement. Uh, this run had a really good rock sand split uh, to sixteen thirty nine, um, pretty ungodly. And took that through all the way to Norman, uh, where he had about a 104, mid 104 um, at Norman, which is a minute and a half ahead of his run at this point. Uh, things kind of went a little south. Yeah, that's crazy. It's pretty crazy. Then things went a bit south. Um, ended up being behind after Winona and even further behind after TNL. But uh, had a pretty solid Elite Four uh, and got Liz Miss from Waylord into. Liz survive. We'll see here on a thick six HP. Oh, yeah! Like and, if uh, that was that. <laughs> like, if you could hear Shiru at this moment, like I mean, you can see Shiru at you this moment. You can see him popping off. Oh yeah! <laughs> oh yeah. yeah! You can hear him <laughs> visually right now. Yeah, there's no, there's no sound. We can hear him. <laughs> yeah. So congrats, congrats to Shiru on that. That's. It's really solid. I know there's a lot of people going for for the record right now, so Shiro takes record. it down a little bit further. Yeah, yeah, that was 229 a, is very close. I believe that was the longest standing, just like normal uh, main series, uh, 80 percent glitchless time. Uh, SLE broken. Main. Sounds true. The, just like I think 80 percent glitchless. Yes, it was. I think overall it was like the fifth longest because it is. Yeah. And there's like. One like hard gold any percent. There's red, blue, and then yellows, which was classic. Right. And then it's pulse on Ultra Moon 3DS, which I don't think anyone's wow. really gonna run that. <laughs> We're getting yeah, this is slightly meme territory there. So. Yeah, his old world record was 2019, like early 2019, I believe, or like mid 2019. So it's pretty crazy. It yeah. took this long to beat. Yeah, I think at this point, there's only like, just in general for like, the main boards, there's only 10 world records now from before 2020. Out of a lot. <laughs> I don't know how many exactly, but there's a lot. 
potential world records out there. So, yeah. A 21 second world record on is like pretty significant. I mean, it's also the like fact. Emerald. It's also the fact that he was a minute and a half ahead after Norman, and all that time save went. Yeah, yeah right. Yeah. It could have been uh -huh. the run to end all runs. I mean, it's still yeah. an amazing run. Look, but... you, you can't have a run too good, because you yeah. need to like actually have people actually want to compete for the world record, right? Yeah, you don't want to get like demoralized. A... Yeah, you know, if you get like a fire red round two thing, and then like the category nobody wants to run anymore because the world record is absurd, you got to give people a little bit of, of room. That's fair, yeah. I just keep looking at Shiro. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So, full silver. 333.39. From uh, Tucker. Tucker the Rat. Yeah. Edgy. You're the resident Gen 4 runner here. I, I, so, yeah, I'm not like an expert on the normal any percent glitchless with Manip stuff. Um, the, the main things to know with this run, I, I actually was lucky to catch it live. This was a. So Tucker had been doing all of his runs on 3DS for the longest time, and then he finally got a, a actual normal DS capture card. And for those who don't know, it's a lot easier to do the manips on a regular DS versus a 3DS for the Gen 4 games. Not not like in-game execution easy, but like reset efficiency easy, because part of the manip involves entering the game at the right second, and the 3DS has like variability if you actually enter at the right second or not. Whereas with the DS, it's perfectly consistent as long as you do it correctly. So uh, this was his first run back with uh, using the real DS, and he immediately got this run on his quote-unquote D-Rust. Um, hmm. Extended Raikou all the way, which is really cool. You didn't have to go for the backup Raikou. The backup Raikou is like better, uh, a little bit better, but obviously not having to do backup strats saves time. And then the other like big thing he did this run, if you can skip ahead to like the red fight, he, um, I think it's on the Venusaur, but... He got an optional rare candy, and is like, he only went for it basically because like, uh, his menuing kind of worked out for it. And oh, you have to go back a little bit, like twenty seconds. And he would have, uh, like it, it helped with a couple ranges in that late game section. But the other thing here, once we see Venusaur attack, I think it's on the. It might be the next to this one. Yeah, so uh, Venusaur crits here. <laughs> oh. Cool. <laughs> and uh, he survives with 7 HP. And if he didn't candy, he would have survived like that amount of damage technically, but uh, it just made this much safer. Because uh, this was really, really dangerous if uh, he just took a little bit more damage there. And that extra like candy is pretty nice. I like that Raikou's named I, so it's in first person. Great. It's the best part of Gen 4 speedrunning. Exactly. Naming everything I. But uh, Way really sick than one. Yeah. Or exclamation point. Exclamation point. Ugh. There'll be an exclamation mark name later, I assume. But I'm looking oh, at it. It's, which one is it? It's, this is a different it, game. I think it's, yeah, this is a different game. This is white too. It's white too because nobody runs black too. Okay, thank you for that. But yeah, <laughs> white two at three seventeen fifty three. Second place, but world record at the time from Dexy. And I'm just going to go back again because this is the thing that kind of confused me and why I showed this bit. Yeah, okay. There are two spots where this can happen, I guess. <laughs> yeah, so it's like that should be an encounter as far as I'm aware, but I guess the cutscene just cancels it. Yeah, it's nice. Oh, well, that's not like a guaranteed encounter. So no. that's just like, that doesn't save time, it just didn't lose time. Yeah, yeah, yeah I guess. Yeah, because yeah, that'd be so an item a... too. You could be an item. It can be uh, an item, yeah. yeah. Um, there's a spot actually late in the game where there's like two trainers looking at each other, and if you get the encounter on that tile, or the encounter, the encounter blocks vision. So if it's like between you and the trainer, then it saves time. If it happens to spawn at the exact right place, it's really goofy. Where's the minute for that? I don't think that. I don't think that's in this run, but it's it would be in the elite four or uh, victory road. So it's probably like. 305 ish or something. I don't know. We can try to find it quickly if you want. You try to point it out. Uh, where, where approximately did you say maybe? Go to like three hours. Yeah, hours. Uh, Five. <laughs> well, I picked the worst 
Oh, this is the least. No, that's too far. Yeah, this yeah, is Japanese, remember? It's the... This is Japanese, yeah. So go back. Yeah, go back to like there. And then scrub forward from. Yeah, it's after this. <laughs> I don't know if this has been picked up on the mic, but me uh, mashing the right foot. Uh, yeah, Yo, can, I should can, probably can, just go like to there. <laughs> further than this, pick... this is this is gets this. And then it's going to be. Uh, is it... after... No, no, no. All right, so go back from there. <laughs> Because you passed, I just saw the. We're doing this live. I think it's about here. It's about here. No, no, no. it's a earlier one. It's an earlier one. Is this definitely Y two? It's Y two. Yeah. All right. Because I haven't played Y one, so. Okay. It's Y two. Nobody runs Black two. And nobody runs Black two. Hey, Driftlin. Um. Terrible Pokemon. How dare you? <laughs> you know why I think that. <laughs> how dare you? Go back more. Oh. Back more. All right. Okay. So it's before. Go to the room right. before this, I think. Or maybe just misremembering where this is. I think I might be misremembering where this is. Go forward like five no. seconds. <laughs> Alright, you know what? Can we maybe, let's maybe do this in the next run. Because this, this is, really is also in this Soul really Silver. This is also no, this in. Is not Soul Silver in White 2. This is not Soul Silver. <laughs> Listen, I haven't run White 2 in like, I don't know, five months. So give me a little bit of leeway here. Uh, fair enough. But yeah, this is. Buster's world record, a 317.52 beat in the previous run by a second, which I think it was is like it maybe a room? week or two after. I couldn't remember if it was the first room or the third room. <laughs> so if you go back... <laughs> I mean, th this is... Victory Road. That's a bit so... Uh... <laughs> well, I guess I should have known it was a third room, but it wasn't the first room. Um, no, no, before this, before that, no, uh, before this, before this, like right before uh, this. Right before, oh, all right. Uh, just go, go for I mean, I'm gonna go, I'm... No, no, before, before, before that, keep going back. All right. Keep going back, keep going back. I think keep we just back. have this trainer again, or not? Keep going back. Oh, is that there, there, right there, right there. <laughs> so, yeah, yeah, yeah. So one of them's a spinner and the other one isn't. And if the, um, the dust cloud spawns between them, and then you wait for the spitter, you can just pass through them. Alright. Yeah, we go that eventually. I don't, like, it applies to every trainer. You can just block their vision with dust cloud. Yeah. But this is like the one that, uh, is really good, I guess. That's what Swiftaloo told me. And I trust Swiftaloo with my life when it comes to white too, so. Well, one of the, I think we, you always get one of them, because one of them is a spinner. Yeah, that's true. So one thing with this run, though, I guess compared to Dexy's, it was actually a bit behind off the beginning. Dexy had a very good start from the looks of things, but I like, managed to catch up after Skyler, which I don't know what gym that is in this game. I, th like Y two and X Y, these are like the games I don't know, but I know Skyler from White one. Either way, so is it like the fifth or sixth gym? The Skyler? Yeah, around there. Yeah. Oh, that movement was almost super clean. It, like, that's so one thing as well. Just looking at the previous PB, this is a very big. Like, it's a two and a half minute PB. Yeah. Like, I don't know, cause like, I know Buster's yeah. really good at the other like other Pokemon games. So sure. I don't know how how if it's just I don't know anything about like how consistent they are as a runner or anything like that, or if they reset heavy or anything. I like but... the comparison in the bottom left. That's so cool. That is cool. That's so cool. <laughs> How do you do that? I should probably just download the. Uh, but then you gotta sync it up for starting. I wonder if there's a plugin for that. That's the yeah, coolest thing I've ever seen in my life. I know there was. There was someone who did do that. Uh, yeah, it's definitely. Like the shield. Oh, well, this is Buster. <laughs> I know. Oh, this is Buster? I thought we were. Yeah, this oh, is Buster. Buster. This is the second run. This is the second one. This is the second one. This yeah, the one player. second. The what? Be the one time second. by one second. Yeah. Potato used to do the same thing. That was it. Yeah. Yeah. So yeah, there's definitely a way to do it. But also, actually, I guess I will cool, yeah. quickly go to the very end after the credits because that's how Japanese do timing. Just look at the wow, timer. Wow, it's like Oras. Yeah. You just look at the if you look at the timer, 
It actually seems like it's actually doesn't beat world record. It's like it ties. That's so, like the, that'd be the fastest to... frame count of my life. <laughs> Yeah, this, uh, this led to some confusion and clarification on when we are supposed to actually end time here. Because basically, if if this if you end time on the first frame that the end starts showing up, but then this is a 52. If you end time when the end is fully visible, then it's a 53. And uh, this actually matters because, again, Dexy's time is a 53. And uh, basically, it just came down to we're doing the first frame so this is a 52 not a 53. first frame's easier to time yeah definitely also congrats to buster or dexy to a degree still got a very good time but we're on to i may ruby etchy hey i know this in game etchy in may yeah, yeah yeah so there's, <laughs> there's a lot to talk about with this run because this run's insane the the main oh, thing yeah. is that he he actually had a world record run like a couple days before this run that could not be verified because the first 15 minutes are absolutely botched by OBS. And uh, we can talk a little bit more about that when we after this part. But so one thing to note here is his mudkip is actually insanely good. The only bad thing is this minus speed. Minus speed means... is pretty terrible in this game. Um... It's the, the biggest issue is that this happens where he has to basically yeah. just YOLO rival two. Um, so there's a 25% chance he gets Mega or Giga Drain. I don't remember from Giga uh, Drain. Drobo. No, no, I don't remember. Maybe it is Mega Drain. I think it's Mega. I think it is and, Mega. And uh, if, if you get Mega Drain, you just die no matter what your stats are. So uh, it's only 25%. So if here, Pokemon yeah, just goes Brennan has it. random AI here. Yeah, so he gets Oh, it. good. <laughs> uh, he actually just gets Fury Cutter, which is totally fine. And you can see his pace is already pretty good. There's like... So, so talking about his other run... Basically, his idea with the, the the other world record run he had was he realized OBS was screwed up, so he just took a bunch of YOLOs throughout the run. And he actually applies one of those YOLOs in this run. If you go back to uh, Granite Cave, it's uh, around the uh, 31 minute mark. Yeah, after the Granite yeah, yeah. Cave. So, so, yeah, right after here, what you normally do uh, before you enter the gym is you get a super repel. And oh, he skipped it. the repel. Yeah, he just skips the repel. So, this is a uh, so in his limited trials of doing this, he only ever gets zero or one encounters. And if you get one encounter, you don't really lose that much time because you skip the entire menu and picking up the repel. I think it might even be break even. But uh, in this run, he gets zero. And his YOLO on his previous world record run also got zero. I wonder if that's worth doing in Alpha Sapphire too. Because we did do shopping in Alpha Sapphire before this, but we could maybe get away with not doing it. Yeah, I mean, you don't, you shouldn't need to show. I, mean, I guess for museum, you might need it more. Museum's so bad. Yeah, but um, I guess if you're going, it's like might be worth it just if you're going for uh for top top well, time. It's yeah, worth yeah, considering. Exactly. I don't know. Yeah. The problem is that you then, you you use up those potions in Alpha Sapphire because it's a brutal game. Yeah. Um, the other thing to note too is uh, his Latios and his Groudon are both very good stats, but not the best natures. So you skipped it like anything in the Latio section. Yeah. You can see 431s here. You can see uh, 31 attack, HP, special attack, speed. Uh, plus speed is kind of cool. You can save a couple X speeds, but minus special attack is not the greatest thing in the world. Yeah. Uh, Quick thing about his Mudkip too is that uh, he kind of breaks even on the Norman fight because you have to do an extra um, X speed with the speed he has, but you save an X attack with the attack yeah. he has. His, his attack so don't is get, so insane. You don't get like the optimal. Well, it could be the optimal fight, Norman fight's weird because it's really based around like what he decides to do and where your timing lines up in terms of using moves since you have to heal repel on the, or heal sleep on the right turn um so a lot of the times saving that that one turn doesn't actually matter that much but this is hall of fame worthy um yeah and then just to show the phoebe oh, i was just having to show the thing so yeah it should be are you gonna show the ghost in the chair no, no, no. Um, wait, wait, oh, oh, wait. Oh, you missed it. All right, let's go back. You can try to pause, pause and nip it. Oh, oh. Oh. All right. People don't know about the ghost of the chair, yeah. Frame advance. There. Yeah. The spooky. Spooky. Um, Frame perfect. But yeah, and here, here's the ground on also 431s, um, or at least 429s, but sassy is a pretty useless nature. 
Uh, minus speed is kind of cool, I guess. Not. Uh, I guess plus special defense doesn't really matter either. Uh, but it doesn't matter too much. It's it's like good enough that you can deal with it. And then uh, the last world record also did red orb for Phoebe. The old strat before that was um, basically doing like a risking not getting unlucky, and it was horrible. Uh, so everyone pretty much just red orbs this now. Elite four in this game is just pretty bad. Yeah, and uh, as a result, when you red orb all this stuff, it's pretty consistent. The Groudon section here is is not too bad, even with the minus speed. You just have to kind of adjust a little bit here and there, but it's but that animation good enough. Um, I think it's yeah. Those those are like the main noteworthy things. Uh, he had reason. His coughing could have been better on Mount uh, Mount Chimney. Is that the one? Yeah. Yeah, you got, you you're like not turn familiar with that, or something. with that coughing. There's not a lot you can do to it, so you just kind of have to wait for a self-destruct. Fair enough. Yeah, he said it's, it's, the, it's the only part of the game that's like better in Alpha Sapphire. And this fight. Those are the only two things. I was like, why would anyone want to run Alpha Sapphire? Shut up. <laughs> I don't want to talk about it. I mean, it was, it was proven that technically Alpha Sapphire is faster. Uh, I don't um, think it is. I don't think it actually is. I mean, you proved it in person. Oh, no, no, no. You're right. It is 100% faster. <laughs> we'll <laughs> talk about that later. But a few more, few more noted runs. I uh, did Poke, that. Poke 2, any percent. Uh, Zack Attack, uh, I think 0, 0.56. Uh, managed to get the world record with a 234.45. Um, without knowing too much about this, from what I saw, it was seemingly like it was like a slower start, but due to new strats for delaying shake sprints on Blitzel, uh, and like with a combination of nice RNG, uh, just managed to uh, managed to get a PB in world record by I guess like around thirty seconds from the uh, not thirty seconds. I don't know what that time is with the two thirty three. Oh well. <laughs> Apparently it's world record though. So maybe it's the name. Maybe that's what they're aiming for. Uh, then there is also two PMD runs. Uh, first one from Shady Gamer. In Mystery Dungeon Explorers of Time, any percent no wonder male DS. Specifically that category. <laughs> uh, world record of a 5.26.41. This was their first run of the category. Really? Oh yeah. yeah. What? It, That's crazy. First, first one of the category oh, is part of a race. Of the category. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What? Yeah. I don't know if they've done other categories in this game. I, I assume I'd so. I assume. But yeah, it's just still ridiculously good run to beat the world record by seven minutes. <laughs> uh, yeah. I have really not like. There's not much detail about this. Uh, in terms of I like what was actually watch done. That, that total play time go up and it's three seconds faster <laughs> than the current timer. I don't know what's up with that. Yeah, I have no clue either. I didn't even notice that. <laughs> it's so weird. Because, yeah, zero of one. Maybe they reset their attempt card at some point. I don't know. You think that would reset total? Playtime though, unless they didn't delete the history, I guess. Yeah, that's possible. Things. Yeah. Still, uh, very, very impressive to just do that on the first run of the category. And then there is also Shiguma with a explosive sky, any percent no one the male Wii U Japanese world record with a 440 47. Uh, it seemed to be behind until like the last hour or so, and then they just start getting time back, <laughs> just like so quickly. So, I guess they were playing knowing that they had the time save at the end. The inverse uh, of the and, Emerald World Record. Yeah, and apparently the only time they needed to revive this entire run was there. <laughs> it was right there. So, that sounds pretty good. But also, to know something else that's noteworthy, not put it in because I think it's the only one in the category, and also. I do try to limit it when there's a lot of the same game. Typically for Mystery Dungeon, because there's a lot of world records typically within the same game. But also got a recruit them all, no one to mail, be you Japanese world record. Uh, 
54 hours, 33 minutes, and 2 seconds. Uh, oh my god. <laughs> I think it's, I think it's done like over 4 or 5 days. That has to be one of the day breaks, right? Yeah, oh yeah. <laughs> they oh definitely love it. Like I said, they did over like 4 or 5 days, I believe. Uh, so just something to note there. But like, PMD runners are crazy. Built different. <laughs> yeah. And like, Shuma especially. Cause like, Shuma, just from doing the podcast every month, there's always like one world record at least from Shuma with the Japanese categories. I think he dominates PMD from the, from the sounds of things. Let me know if I'm wrong, but anyone in chat. I maybe believe that like, is uh, the case. Maybe it's like Sword and Shield. We just keep, just make up new categories. If we need a world record. <laughs> I mean, I guess I did technically benefit from that. <laughs> but yeah, that's not that's not a slam. I've done it. Oh yeah, no, no, it's definitely a slam. If it's a world record, it's a world record. Exactly. No one yeah, can that... take that from you unless they beat your time. Then they can take that from you. Jim Fury getting close with Candy Floss. But anyway, uh, that was the last noted run for the month, and let me say there was a lot of marathons, <laughs> like a lot of marathon runs this month. Uh, I have this playing in the background, but just before I'll let Ian take over because Ian, <laughs> oh. uh, Kylo, uh, Kylovich did a gold any percent no save corruption run, fifty one minutes twenty eight seconds. I couldn't find the vault for it. I might have just been dumb. <laughs> but just wanted to make note of that. And then I... Yeah, I didn't get a chance to see his run because it was right before mine. But uh, yeah, this is a good run. I really had a lot of fun with this. Um, I'd been playing this game about a month before running this. It's a bit brave. <laughs> so I'm pretty, pretty new to it. But I ended up getting a PB in this run, which is kind of crazy because I saved for a bunch of things. I saved for Pika Nature at the beginning. Um, just to make sure I go, didn't get a really bad one. Wait, and then I saved for a few I fights thought, as well. I thought nature was I determined save, on... You, you save before the oak, uh, Pidgey. That's it. I didn't know that worked. I thought the Pikachu was determined when you started the game, because I know it picks its gender then. Oh. The gender is bad, yeah, but it's the, um, but the, the nature you can change it. Uh, it depends on, well, you have to save. Well, that's kind of so point. weird. I... <laughs> yeah, so I ended up losing. I was behind like 30 seconds just because of that at the beginning. Um, with all the save and such. Um, I pretty well. Um, even though it was a big audience, I had a lot of fun with it. I had WarTab commentating, so that was fun having him there to explain a lot of things. Cause again, I'm pretty new to this game, so I don't know a lot of the, uh, the details about it. Um, so that was pretty cool. And uh, I ended up getting another PB later in the month after this, so that was that was pretty nice as well. Yeah, PB in a marathon, pretty impressive. Yeah, is that it was actually really funny because, <laughs> um, the my Discord um, notifications were on during the run, and so the organizer he wanted me to to pause my run so I could turn off Discord notifications, and I was on PB pace. Me and Wartub were like, <laughs> no. <laughs> We'll do it. I'll just do it while I'm running. <laughs> so I ended up doing it. So it I couldn't have to. Yeah, like... yeah, it was pretty. It was pretty straightforward. Um, <laughs> but like me and Wartab were like, "What? No." Did you get any weird catches? Any like terrible weird catch root stuff? Uh, the Kanga. I don't know if I can tell. I, 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 I don't know if I can tell from the. Uh, no, I did not get a Tangela. Let's. I can see. I can see from the. Uh, okay. And push I, I don't see anything. I, got a, I, I don't got, see anything weird. I did get Abra. Okay. Something that you don't always get. Good. So that's nice. Uh, everything else looks pretty, pretty much normal. Uh, both Nidorans. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah. I mean, I evolved Growlithe with a Firestone as well. Did the Firestone? But... Firestone. It's good. Not... I think. I think Firestone's like actually really good. It saves time. Well, I I don't need to go in on this one. Yeah. Anyway, it's like yeah, that was seems like a good run as well. Also, I don't think I've actually said the uh, the event. It was twenty twenty one flood relief uh, for the the floods that affected uh, like Germany and 
like all it was like West Germany, I think it also affected Belgium and maybe some other areas, like some other countries in that area. Yes, Which, that's true. Yeah. That felt like that I was looking at this like as in honest, like that felt like a lifetime ago that, that happened. I know. But it was like maybe just over a bit of, a bit of, like just a bit over a month ago at this point. Which is mad. Uh but yeah, if we go yeah, into I'm the... actually gonna check how much did they raise for that? So, Speaking of uh, things for everyone's interest. Yeah, I'll, I'll let you check that iron in a moment. Twenty two hundred like... euros. Nice. Nice. That's good. So oh, twenty six hundred like US. a lifetime ago. Yeah. I commentated may. this run and I remember very little about <laughs> what happened during it because it was three weeks ago, my memory doesn't work, and also I had a million things going on in on in August, but I do remember that Shelty's um, Squirtle hated charity and refused to miss Mega Kicks. Well, it seems to be a thing that Squirtle hates charity. Char yeah. Squirtle does hate charity. That is definitely true. I want to say was I think there was a death in this run to rival five. Uh, what time was it? What, what time was that approximately? Uh, near the end. Rival five is still rival. Or are we talking about? Uh, sorry, one? rival six. Uh, the one after Giovanni. Let's go, yeah. rival five. It's rival six, and let let's go. Okay. Or fire at least great. It's rival this. six. You're on it. You're on it. Yeah. yeah I right. think there was a death to rival six in this run. This I'm might be gonna... the second. Oh. Yeah, I was just saying. Yeah, yeah. yeah I think it was. Right there. Oh, actually, yeah, that was. Oh. That was rival six. Was... Yeah. Ah. So. <laughs> Um, so the end of this run got kind of weird in terms of like, the, the end of every Fire Red run got kind of weird in terms of item rooting in marathons this month, which we'll, uh, we'll talk about that more later, but, um, uh, it was still a good run despite the death. It was like a pretty solid time just because of all of the, the mega kicks. Yeah, like 2.20.32, I think. I think it was said at the time that that was a marathon record, right? That is the that is the world record for fire red times at in a GDQ event. It's a GDQ right. record, yeah. Okay. So they just started taking um, notes on that very recently. That's cool. Yeah. And like with the same marathon though, and May, <laughs> do you remember this one? Oh yeah, I also commentated this <laughs> run. Um, I think this one went pretty standard for the most part. I don't remember the details of this run either. It was a while ago. If and I I've remember... commented so I think this oh, this is the run where everything was named Badoo. Except for the rival that was named Kizaron. Um and the problem is I've commentated so much Let's Go that it all blends together. Thank you for that, Jordan. Um, no problem. At least no one got to hear you singing the. Uh, that yeah, wasn't in the Pokemon other run. Theme. Me singing the Bidoof song. I was going. I was talking about for, uh, for Blitz with the uh, Pokemon theme. Yeah, was Blitz covered in the last podcast episode? Uh, Blitz will have been covered, two or three. Uh, no, it was that long ago. Yeah. <laughs> There's no. Yeah, it was way. It was like no. It was like two months ago. Right. Um. Was it? Not July. No, I, we can't talk about this. We have to move on. All right. Either way, I think with this room, was it not something at the beginning? Like a there was like a bad a na nature. Bad, bad nature. nature. Right. Yeah, headstrong. She ran a bad nature because I mean, it. Anybody who watched Blitz knows that um, headstrong and nature's resets are not. Hey, it's another Badoof naming. This is number three <laughs> in this run. <laughs> yeah, headstrong gets real has real rough nature luck and this run was no exception but um ended up going okay i think the ev got a lot of special attack avs to make up for it so it's still a solid run yeah like a, a 3 13 12 is a very good time yeah Especially yeah for marathon. sure for a marathon run where we where like four things got named and stuff like that also there were some pet there was a pet the ev incentive so there was some time lost for that so yeah it was definitely a good run all right, so moving into RTA in Japan, where... Actually, before we move on to that, oh. didn't May do a bonus? 
run in that event as well? I did two uh, hot fix runs, yeah. That were technically oh, okay. frame, frame fatals adjacent. I got, so Oras was a, um, I submitted Alpha Sapphire and it was a backup run. And then they took both of my submissions as hot fix runs. So I did do Alpha Sapphire on hot fix along with Sylveon alt main or trade alt main in Sword and Shield or in Sword specifically. So you can check those out if you're interested, or you can wait and we'll talk about Oras in a bit later. Yeah. So yeah, but so this is RT in Japan. I'd never heard of this, but apparently like, until like the event, it was like forty odd thousand. And, oh, okay, that's in yen. Still a lot of yen. Yeah. For like the very first run, this was the first run in the the marathon. Uh, Japanese it really was... shows up. Like the Japanese yeah. restream for um, Midwest Speed Fest had so many viewers. Yeah, like yeah. The Japanese, like the Japanese like community does show up for like the Japanese restreams and for like the Japanese speedrun events. So like this was, it was Gringati, Yoriru 3, Whitey Reds and Karo with Sword Any% percent versus Sword Candy Force versus Shield Any% percent versus Shield Any% percent with DLC. Or Sword Any% percent with DLC. So it's just like showing all like the different runs that are like... That's cool. Different other than Shield. Any percent with DLC because that's the same as sold effectively. Yeah, it's like really cool. Um, like really cool run to like find out after the fact. <laughs> I didn't catch this at the time, but this is. I don't know. It's just a cool idea. I really like the idea, and like all these are like really good runs. Like Caro, I think is the. Uh, he's the world record holder, I believe, for the any percent with DLC. I think he also has the Japanese. Uh, so uh, Japanese sold any percent 1.2 world record maybe very good runner I, I, they're all great runners um, but how I ended up finishing was um, so any percent with DLC won kind of expected really yeah with, that makes uh, sense yeah taking a level 70 Suicune through the entire run bit quick um, and then in second place, I mean, you it can, was... You can even see here, like, any percent in DLC oh. is finishing up Gordy, and uh, without DLC is just doing the hop before Gordy, so... Uh, so, YT Red, that one's... I, know, I think that, like, so YT Red, that's... Like, the one that's doing hop six right now is... That's shield, any percent. Yeah, and isn't the bottom right shield any percent in DLC? Yeah, yeah. Oh, sorry, I thought yeah. you were... I thought you were mixing so it with... same game and a route ahead. Because well, yeah. Sweet King does not have to do anything for the first all of the game. Yeah. And then I will say, so then in like second place it was... It was Candy Force. <laughs> so Candy Force in second. It's, okay. the, it's the best... The best route. Actually, do you think the shield route would be, would be further ahead than it is right now if it wasn't using a drill bear at the moment? Uh, yeah, because shield is the best. With he's using Sobble? Yes. Because, uh, shield has better encounters. Because you don't have to True. deal with those mini girder on uh, that's Route not, 6. That actually hasn't happened yet in this run, so that's not really relevant <laughs> yet. But... True, that's actually... All right. We'll see if we can... be any. I don't expect there to be. But, yeah. Basically, sword any percent... Uh, so Green Gutty uh, ended up last with a 436 or 7. I think something. I don't remember what happened, but it was something pretty bad, I'm guessing, based on that yeah. time. Which is just unfortunate. Things happen in a marathon. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, and then directly after this, because the first two runs were Pokemon runs for RTA in Japan, this is. Uh, if I can get it, it's Poke Park Wii. Just uh, the normal 90% run for Poke Park Wii. So we have Pikachu waddling around carrying an iron ore. Uh, I think it's like it's a, like a very good run to be fair in terms of like compared to the estimate. Oh my god! Oh, estimate. Poor Aeron. What the heck? <laughs> you just like talk to the Aeron and just immediately just... headbutt it. What did Aeron say that was so offensive? Are you gonna do it to? Are you just gonna attack all of them? Typically, yes. <laughs> I think that is normally the case. 
Well, let's look at Zubat. Zubat's in the way right now. <laughs> that just... Oh, oh, oh my this gosh. Is so <laughs> this is a violent video game. I don't know anything about Poke Park, but I think the more I learn, the more I'm worried. Poke Park's actually a fun one. It's a fun run to watch. I don't understand a lot about that. Violent. <laughs> That's so sad. <laughs> the more while we're playing. <laughs> they go so far, too. They, they do. do. Oh, they were hit with force. But yeah, this is a 216.46. Pretty solid compared to the SM over 230. Then BSG with seemingly all the Pokemon runs. Um, it started off with started off with Genesis with Blue Angel sent no save corruption. That ended up having issues because that's the nature of that category, I believe. Yeah. But it's very difficult run to finish if things just go even slightly wrong. But following up with Cruel and Genesis, this time with Gold 80% no safe corruption. Uh, pretty high raise, I think, from the looks of it. I mean, it's for an hour estimate, at least, I think that's pretty, it's pretty close. Uh, Genesis with a 54 and then Cruel with a 57, 56. Here's a little fun fact about uh, blue or gold 90% NSC is that if you ever need a secure password, you can just watch them name boxes. <laughs> yeah, true. Some of these aren't even like legal <laughs> characters to put in a password. It's all valid Unicode. It's all good. <laughs> can you put emojis? Okay, no. <laughs> I've suddenly read. And yeah, it just it just happens like that. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Pretty cool. Just, yeah, these runs are fascinating. Me, I don't think I could ever do them. I get, I either I just mess things up so much. I mean, I know you get used to it over time, but I mean, watching Epicets, uh, 151 run in GDQ, I was like, this is a really cool thing, and I'm fascinated by it. And uh, no, <laughs> I'm good actually. No I like to see where I'm going, or like have any sort of continuity in the world that I'm looking at. Whooper. <laughs> so yeah, that's that was the second Pokemon run out of seven. <laughs> uh there was a run in between this from Conception, uh Sav, the uh, Sword Tower of Two Fists. It seemed like there were stream errors, so I I can't even tell the time that I finished. Unfortunately, it didn't even it didn't manage to get to the Isle of Armor itself. It just was unfortunate. But following that though, let's go 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 with diamond any percent, uh, one hundred two uh, twenty six, and can actually you, uh, yeah. like uh, eight minutes earlier. Eight minutes earlier. Uh, yeah, like you around Jubilee basically. Uh, no, like another four minutes probably, or like four minutes two back. minutes. Yeah, yeah, there. No, further. <laughs> further back? Yeah, I thought the, the thumbnail lied to me. Keep going. Uh, one more. Okay, yeah, this is fine. So yeah, the, the, the noteworthy thing with this run is that Sko actually uh, kept Manip all the way, which is pretty nutty, because this is literally like 40 minutes, over 40 minutes of extended yeah, this, Manip of perfect this movement. Manip is, like, absurd. It's, it's like... This, this is the part I want to highlight because this is the hardest part and it's uh, really easy to mess up in this section. Super, super easy. And if, if, like, if you hesitate for a split second or run an extra tile or um, uh, just are a little late to your B presses, then it's just over. And so the way this run works is you don't buy any repels. So if you drop Minip early, you get a bunch of extra encounters if you drop it like too early. So I'll just, really I'll just let the movement speak for itself here. Do three of these. Do this 13 times. This is actually how I do the movement casually when I play Diamond. <laughs> I'm excited to have to do this in um, BDSP. Oh no, yeah. exactly that. <laughs> it's like the movement at the beginning of Plat Piplup, but like yeah, yeah, it's 27 minutes into the run and for 20 minutes. And then this is the hardest part, probably. You thought the last part was the hardest part? You're wrong. Oh, that looks horrible. That, yeah, that uh, that one tile of running you have to do is really easy to mess up, and if you mess it up, you're just gonna hit the trainer immediately. But um, really impressive to to keep them in it that far. It's uh not easy, especially in a high pressure marathon situation. 
So it's probably just pretty good run. So calm explaining it. You can, I mean, uh, I know he's done this like so oh, yeah, many that. times, and he has the world record can, for uh, both the English and Japanese versions. But right, go to a uh, cycling road. You can show the tweaks really fast. Uh, Scott's also uh, very good at the tweaks, which is why he has world records in these categories. Right there. Uh, yeah. Looks like a tweak. Oh, hey, oh, wait, that <laughs> looks wrong. Oh, that's that's way too far. Dude, these thumbnails uh, are it, wrong. Yeah, they're, yeah, they're awful. They straight lied. <laughs> yeah, just thumbnails. Uh, it's right. a bit before this, isn't it? Or is it a bit after yeah. this? So you can skip ahead a bit because you yeah. have the bike. Okay, yeah, it's after the explorer kit, isn't it? Oh, well, after the bike, which is after the explorer kit. Alright, getting instant text. Oh. Okay. Yeah, you see, and the best, bit, the best bit of dying. Screw things up. <laughs> Saving a lot of data. It's actually half the run. <laughs> that was the first week. And then the next week. Well, this is to skip a cutscene, isn't it? Yeah, you this got all one. of them first try. <laughs> Damn. That's pretty good. Yeah, those tweaks are really hard because of cycling road. You having that extra speed or like forcing your speed weirdly. It, it's really funky. And uh, getting down like that's pretty cool. Now, May, I need you for yeah. this next run here. Okay. Pokemon type in adventure. So I have spread run this game, technically speaking. Um, the problem yes. with this game is that it does auto save, and I have a cart that fails to auto save about thirty percent of the time, so I can't actually run this game. But Pokemon typing, learning, learn with Pokemon typing adventure, um, is a very goofy speed run because, like, if you notice in the bottom left, you can see um, Krull's typing, and by that I mean Krull not typing because it loses time a lot of the time. Since uh, the way this game works, you get like medals based on doing completing certain things, and you only need a certain number of medals to get to the end of the game. And so every time you get a medal, it plays this little animation and it loses time. So a lot of Pokemon typing adventure is not doing anything, which is why it's a good speedrun and I like it. Um, but it is yeah. cool that there's a typing Pokemon game, and it also every time you type a letter, it says the letter, which is fun. And you can play <laughs> along at home if you uh, just type along with cruel right here and then you can let me know what you get in chat i remember just watching you doing runs of this and everyone just like i want you so badly <laughs> but my cart just doesn't work because it's just broken sometimes to be, it's it does seem like it's just like a connector issue with like if it's only some of the time I'd apparently like... it's pretty common like i asked cruel about it and he was oh. like oh yeah well it happens sometimes and i was like that happens a lot for me <laughs> Genius Sonori, just, I don't know. I don't know about, I don't know about those guys. I don't know, they made, they made some pretty good games. <laughs> Not this one, it doesn't work. <laughs> this is like May complaining about all DS D-pads being bad when hers is clearly broken. Mine's and flawless. she's aware of this. Mine's flawless. <laughs> Alright, back with Skoa though. Skoa showing up twice. The only person who shows up more for Pokemon runs in this marathon is Cruel. We will come, we'll come well, back with the next run. Cruel runs everything. Cruel does run everything. That Krul is true. Cruel runs everything. And I fully respect it and I'm amazed by it. That's a harsh face punt. But yeah, so black any percent. A 3.19.34. Um, I, don't, I really don't know much about this, but at least on the run. Over 10 minutes compared to estimate. I'm going to say that's good. That's uh, pretty good, yeah. Uh, black and white one is a pretty consistent run compared to a lot of other Pokemon runs, but um, that's still like really solid for a marathon time. Yeah. Way more consistent than black and white too. Yeah, yeah. I don't know, this seems... I mean, I, I saw you doing Manipulus May trying to get Lillipulps. Well, <laughs> don't do that. Don't do that, it's bad. And then cruel, cruel with trading card game, any percent, no ace. Dun, dun, dun. These runs are just so fascinating dun, dun, to me how fast dun, they go. Hey, it's done. <laughs> Thank you for the sound chat, mate. <laughs> but yeah, this was a 16 19 with like a 22 estimate, like 22 main estimate. 
is like a very good run. But again, it's just these runs do impress me here, just how with how quickly they go. Well, just in terms of like, if you look at like, all these menus, it seems like twenty million menus have gone by. I don't know exactly percent how this run or exactly this one works at all. I don't know if they're like doing stuff to end the fights that are like not within the regular rules of a uh, Pokemon trading card game. But in the Pokemon trading card game, if they are out of Pokemon on their like if they have nothing on their bench and you defeat their active Pokemon, you do instantly win. So I don't know if that's what they're doing. It's very hard to follow. I'm not an expert on TCG trading card game, even though it's. Yeah. Okay, I don't understand what's going on because it looks like <laughs> they're winning normally. It just looks like they're winning. Yeah. I really. I should have someone with like I should have had someone on from like like TCG stuff a while ago. Which, instantly. Or oh. That makes Thank sense. Thank you, Shen. That would do it. Yeah, that that would make sense for going fast. <laughs> yeah. Just do the right inputs and you instantly win. All right, cool. <laughs> That's cool. I wish I'd known that when I was a kid. I'm, I'm never... it, wouldn't be, it wouldn't be very fun. I've never played this game. I never it's, like. It's... I loved this game as a kid. Actually, tell a lie. I played like two minutes of it and I couldn't get past the first fight because it was in Japanese. Yeah, I just, yeah, the, the glitchless version of this runs an extra like. Wait, what's the hundred percent time? It's, is this an extra, it's four times as long. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It checks out. Yeah. So, very impressive run. And the last run from uh, uh, from BSG Annual 2021. Now, the <laughs> first in-person marathon, at least in the US, for a good oh, while. I like this part. Hey, yeah, this is the, <laughs> part, this is the part where I won. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, this is indeed the part where you were on. Won. Uh, for... So you're not For supposed some to reason, training. I decided to use the circle pad there instead of the D pad, and this lost me about eight minutes, I believe. So that was pretty cool, because uh, what happens here is you're not guaranteed to get revenge here, but I didn't one shot it, and then it shows revenge, and that killed me. Should be earthquake. <laughs> so that's pretty cool. Or uh, pull this. Me all the way back home. Yeah, because and that's really far. That's. Like, I know, I think Josh was in Cheap were right when they're saying this is maybe the worst spot you can die in this game. Yeah, I mean, probably losing the double battle right after is technically worse, I guess. Because <laughs> it had the same effect. Yeah, that's, that's true. Well, I don't but... know, because you still have the encounter, though. So, like, like the extra encounters, so that's probably, I don't know. It's pretty bad. Yeah, I had to, I had to buy a bunch of repel. It, it was a nightmare. It was stupid. I, I still managed to claw, like, two of those minutes back so that was cool uh super like, fun run though yeah it was, it was a good race um it was really even until that happened it and, was it was uh, actually really even until there i was a little bit ahead i think but it was like less than 20 seconds yeah like uh i had and i was gonna lose all that luck. all that lead in ladia so yeah I, I had much better encounter luck than me but then i died to uh i got five encounters in uh rust Earth tunnel and then that evened it out like completely and then we were even yeah. for like the next 40 minutes yeah i will say as well because this was the first in-person marathon so again in, at least in the u.s for like a good while how was it just like able to actually people it was very nice it was very fun we met a lot of people yeah it uh it worked Super out nicely cool. enough because it was a, one it was already kind of a small convention and then two we didn't interact with any of the convention really <laughs> It was mostly yeah. just hanging out with everyone. Hey, I went and bought stuff, friends. and then I played. Well, Groove I mean, like Coaster. the actual convention, convention, not like. I played Groove Coaster. Just walking around the. That's the what halls. is. That's what a convention is. No, but like the actual. Did you go to any of the presentations or like? No. The opening or anything? Yeah. yeah I went to the presentation of Omega Ruby versus Alpha Sapphire. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, nice. Oh, oh. Wait. Wait, what? oh. I see what you're doing. What? What is a miss? <laughs> Wait, what are you doing? What am I doing? What are you doing? No, because oh, uh... you were because you were told that you should go through um Rust Turf Tunnel, which was yeah. I'm gonna say incorrect. I, it was incorrect, yes. <laughs> but it's okay. I was still screwed regardless. Um yeah. doing this whole part on the bike is weird because you don't know, normally have the bike. Yeah. Here. I'm like, I would hit every time I, so when I tried doing Elite 
for or uh, any me or many mega stones, I was hitting like early game trainers because I was like, wasn't even thinking about like, oh yeah, I did, I that's a trainer because I'm just not used to like being on the bike there. It just didn't work with my brain. Uh, and she hits another optional here because it's the easiest one to hit. If you don't <laughs> know this, about this it. This isn't actually not a required fight. I thought it was just a required. No, it's optional. Optional. Oh, okay. Um, it is always very But it's quickly. like super, 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 super easy to hit. Yeah, that guy right there. I, I, I just ran into them because I thought you had to fight them to get out. Yeah, I mean, yeah, yeah, that's bad. I mean, I, why would them. you know that? Yeah, well, I, you never go here in this You game, wouldn't so know that no unless idea. you did Megastone. It's like the only time it comes up. Mm. But yeah. That is... My yeah, ice like movements guys, I really enjoyed watching it. <laughs> yeah, My it ice was balls and movement's really good in this run. That's like the highlight for me. Alright, let me, let me put you to that then. Which I'm going to do. We're going to base off the Twitch preview. And then we're going to so go we, back like 10 yeah, minutes. Yeah, you, you just went, you just went <laughs> Yeah, because... Oh, oh, wait. Yeah, sorry. I was looking at it. She's... Right. Yeah, I'm on the left side. And it's weird, nice. they put Elf Sapphire on the Go left when... <laughs> so it's gonna be a little bit after this. Too cause... bad of it, yeah. There's like minutes of cutscene. Wait, is this one actually lined up? <laughs> no, it's not. No, I'm a whole catch ahead. There's a three minute cutscene after this, or two and a half or something. But, Wasn't I mean, this the run? Was given that... Given that Echi lost eight minutes, like that shows you how much better Latios is. Okay. Wasn't this the run where, like, on the layout, you guys were in the opposite positions? We were in the run, opposite spots. <laughs> if you were thinking, like, <laughs> well, no, we, like I'm underneath my run, but oh, Alpha Sapphire's on the left. But like, I see, like, when you're looking back to talk to T Pat, like you're looking back the other direction. Yeah, it's, yeah, yeah, it's, it's super. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Echi was to my Echi was to my left. Or wait, right to my right, yeah. Right. The last bit there. Hold on, me. I've never done it better than that. <laughs> I got close to my PB the other day, but also very far in the same breath. Oh well, yeah, people other... also want, people also probably want to see the sheer cold. Oh, all right. I did. That's right. I was convinced like to not blue orb, even though I, I was on a streak of getting sheer cold, and I did dodge two sheer colds. Cause I oh yeah. Rain. Completely forgot. Because my this. Kyogre was not good, if I remember correctly. Oh no, because I had to heal. It wasn't raining anymore. <laughs> I think it's just best to watch the reactions. In this bit. Yeah, yeah. Just, just watch, watch Etchy's face. So I get body slam turn two. Well, no, I, I get body slam turn three because I'm slow, so I have to use the next speed. It was almost going really, really well. So I get body slam and then I have to heal because I'm paralyzed, and then rain oh, runs nice. out. So I, nice so I missed that range. I actually don't know if it's a range, but um, this fight sucks. <laughs> so yeah, that was that was the first sheer cold dodge. And then I don't kill here. I get body slammed again. People are like, oh, you did it. I'm like, no, she's a full restore. And that doesn't do half, so I have to do another turn of setup where I get another sheer cold. But that also missed. And then I'm free. It was horrible. <laughs> it was horrible. <laughs> Wall rain's only four turns. No, wall rain's like a thousand turns. Wall rain's the worst. Yeah, so that was the first, the first run at Midwest B Fest. <laughs> uh, second run, Pokemon Puzzle League. Uh, one place, uh, one place stadium, super hard. It's another it one of those super runs. Super hard. Yeah, <laughs> another one of those runs. Where it's just like you like pile everything up, and then it's just it's gone. Everything's just gone, and then they win. That's what it seems like to me, at least the entire time. It's a, I don't understand like... how Puzzle League works. Like, all these things are... How do you win? It feels like these things just build up, and then all of a sudden it's like, oh, yeah, see, like, how is that <laughs> different than what was on the left side? I don't get it. <laughs> I think in that case, because we got, like, a pair that was matching and connecting with the big blocks, during the animation time, it's still going down. Like, it's still 
an effect on the other side. So if they end up failing during that transition, or like if it ends up failing during that transition, you win. That's my understanding. That makes sense, but I don't know. I was sitting there watching it, not knowing a lot about this, and being like, "Oh, they okay, they won." Yeah, this this game is is crazy difficult, and uh, the, a lot of the tricks are like taking advantage of the game and the mechanics, and uh, um, kind of like doing some like it, it's really hard to explain. We watched the run because it was right before the Firelight Green run. Um, they explained a lot of the craziness of it. It's it's super interesting and technical. I uh, recommend checking it out sometime. Yeah, and what this was it was a twenty six twelve, which I believe it was a forty minute estimate. Yeah, forty minute estimate. Yeah. And then at the end, the thing you mentioned that the world record is like 13 minutes or something. <laughs> it's crazy. like, it's like, there's just that much variance. It's still like a really good marathon run. Oh, Shen, Shen with the strats. You want to send one, one small, small garbage and one huge one. Interesting. I know they have to reset on, or like restart on Mewtwo. And do Gary again. Uh, yeah, because you have to, you have to do those fights back to back and back to back. I'm yeah. guessing. Unless I misunderstood something, it did not seem like that was the goal. Yeah, that doesn't seem it ideal. Been, it was almost an even better time. Is the point. But yeah, it's such an impressive run. And then final run from Midwest Speed Fest, another Squirtle H charity. <laughs> <laughs> just watch yeah, the reaction again here <laughs> that was the first one it was took so long to finally get that miss it was crazy yeah, it was but, a, uh, the first one of the last fight is used isn't it something yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it was great um there was like opportunities other mega kicks later but uh because of the elixir timing that poke guy did couldn't happen but this run was really good um Again, obviously, good Mega Kick luck, but really good execution on uh, everything from Pokeguy until uh, the he very end when he got super That was like, oh my god. The Brock fight, the Brock fight comes to mind. The yeah, Brock yeah, yeah. Fight, the Brock fight. Brock fight. Uh, he YOLO'd a uh, Brock Tomb miss. That's too far. Perfect time. What's, what's Rock Tomb in Gen 3? 80%? It's 80%, yeah. Yeah. God, it's such a bad yeah, read. He enters, the, he enters the fight low HP, so he has to heal, and then... Yeah, didn't he have to use he all the potions? With the... Oh, am I wrong with that? You don't, use, you, just... you don't typically use potions on this fight with Squirtle. You do with Charmander, though. Oh. But he only had, he had none left, anyway. Yeah, he was dead to Rock Tomb there, so he... He healed, and then he... I think he stalls with withdraw after this turn. Yeah, getting yeah. bind there is not great. And then he gets tackled here. I think he's. I, I want to say he was like, "Oh, it's fine. It's gonna miss." You see the hesitation there. <laughs> <laughs> uh, the bind did the two damage, which kind of put him into death range here. But fortunately, it worked out and uh, got through. But uh, yeah, really good execution in Rock Tunnel, as uh, Shin is saying in chat. Only, only he only like screwed up towards like the very end, and then just in general, the movement was really clean the whole run, and the fights were pretty solid. Uh, first try surge was fine. E everything was pretty clean until uh, Lorelei ruined everything, awesome. and then he had to go buy extra X items because he just didn't have enough at that point. Because he didn't save for Lorelei because he just didn't think that he'd have to. Uh, this is first Lorelei. Oh yeah, that was bad. But without the Lorelei death, this would have been pretty easily sub, uh, like, probably like 213-ish. Mm -hmm. well, also, this, so it was a 218.04, but that includes two attempts at the minute, I believe. That too, yeah. <laughs> yeah. So it's like... He didn't, he didn't bother doing like a, uh, he had a backup, but he, he wanted to try to do it normally and naturally in the run and he got it after uh, after a bit. Yeah also what's with the what's with the backup for this? It's like it was it was mad like it was a mad backup from what I heard. It was the god backup I think. Yeah. It was insane. It was insane. Yeah, yeah. 
like almost like all 30 ones. And stuff, yeah. Which is crazy because he had to like get that ID and then also hit that Squirtle while he was to set it just to, to get it to get the backup. So that's <laughs> pretty wild that he got that. Yeah, and that was the last Midwest Speedfest uh, marathon run. Uh, just a few more, a few more mar oh, a couple more marathons. I'm sorry about this. So Giorgi Di Un Fiato, uh, Italian speedrunning uh, marathon. We have uh, Stochi versus Jimmy, with a heart, gold, soul, silver, eighty percent glitchless race. Uh, uh, Stochi got a two thirty three sixteen. I have no idea what time Jimmy got because the time stops at Stochi's time. So wow. I can't really tell you. I think it's just how they had it set up. But yeah, again, it's just two thirty three. Seems like I mean, based on the, I think they were both underestimate. Mm -hmm. Yeah, the estimate's so high for this category because red is really, really bad, and like you can die is it actually after that's... minutes of setup into the fight. So if if it takes like five tries to get past it, then you're just out of luck. So, well, let's just Wagsire. point out the fact that Jimmy is on, uh, on red now, and I said Stotchy wins. <laughs> <laughs> And so she's in the finish for another 13 minutes. So... Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That was the main point I wanted to bring up with this. I, it's, yeah. <laughs> yeah, this is glitched manipulous for anyone who's wondering why the time is yeah. so low. I could share some thoughts on this game if you guys want. I think it's probably better than not. <laughs> okay. Even if I don't disagree per se, but... He doesn't like it. He doesn't like our gold. <laughs> All gentle. Pokemon two. Rumble, though. Oh, yeah. Pokemon Rumble. The Speed Stuff for Charity, RDA, with Rumble Weekend Edition, which is a, a ROM hack. Yeah, I, I commentated in this marathon. Oh, what run? <laughs> hat in time. Oh, yeah. <laughs> but, yeah, this is uh, all GX stages, a uh, 1 hour, 42 seconds. Um... I actually have zero context, but other than for the estimate, which is uh, a 110, so about like around 10 minutes or around nine minutes, I guess. Ahead of estimate, seems like a solid run. This game just seems so strange to me, though. <laughs> Those poor Magneton. The Wait, Luxray is the Gleam Eyes Pokemon? Apparently. Well, okay. <laughs> What is this on? This is a 2020 game? Uh, it's a ROM hack. Yeah, it's a ROM hack. It's a ROM hack. Yeah, it's a ROM hack that's currently still being... I think it got updated recently. I remember. Just from hearing. Can you only play it on Saturday and Sunday? Why is it weekend edition? Is that the person who made it? <laughs> Wouldn't that just be... Uh, maybe no 30 with the bad then? The what? Weekend. The weekend. Bad it? joke. Never, I right, never mind. Let's try to get some information on this thing. <laughs> you tried. I, I don't know anything about it. I tried. Uh, yeah, there was also oh, one more run. This? There was one more run from Conception SR, where Sword Tower of Two Fists again. Like does like, like this is like one of their go-to runs. I also know like there were a lot of like bug snacks and marathons. But anyway, that ended up being a one forty-eight thirty-four. Couldn't find the vod. I was probably being dumb. Uh, but I mean, That marathon was pretty recent, so it's possible I haven't finished uploading all the bots yet. Maybe. Okay, I know I why this is called Rumble Weekend oh. Edition. Okay. The mod of Pokemon Rumble that was made for the shiny hunting community event Rumble Weekend. Ah. I see. Ah. Interesting. Yeah. But yeah, Tower there 2 Fist. So, a, a, yeah. A 148.34. I think it was a 145 estimate. It's Tower of Two Fists. Things things go wrong. <laughs> this game's a battle royale. Oh yeah. That I guess. Sign. Yeah. I hope Shaman gets a good gun. I mean, Shaman did drop in a good position at least. True, 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 true. This actually looks really fun. <laughs> I don't but... know what's going on, but it looks fun. <laughs> looks very chaotic. 
Was this originally like a DS game and then went to phone, or was it originally a phone game and then went to DS or something? Sure. I think it's a Wii. <laughs> Wii. It might have been a DS version, but the the the, the phone game's different. Yeah, could have been came later. There's Pokemon. There's two Rumble games, right? There's Rumble, and then there's. There's a Rumble for 3DS, I think. Yeah. 3DS. That's what makes sense. Okay. I forgot what it's called. Rumble. The phone Blitz? one's the main one that died fast. Rumble Blast. Blast. Uh, yeah, this game apparently. There's Rumble also, U. <laughs> so many Rumbles. How there's so many Rumbles? How did I not know about any of these games? I also this... still don't know what's happening. Is this Dynasty Warriors but Pokemon? No, it's Apex. Well, no, because it, 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 right? Isn't there already a? No, there's not Pokemon Dynasty Warriors, is there? I don't think so. Unless it's no. this. So I was just thinking of Pokemon Conquest for some reason, which is very different. That's Fire Emblem. <laughs> Yes. There is a Fire Emblem Dynasty Warriors, which is maybe why you're getting confused. It's all connected. This... Conquest is Pokemon Chess. There's a lot. <laughs> yeah, that was the last marathon run that I could find at the very least. There may have been more. There's, There's a lot that do typically happen. But for the upcoming marathons, yeah. uh, I... No glitches allowed. Eight. You're in. You're in this a lot. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> so I'm doing two runs in this. I'm doing a couple of ROM hacks. Um, I'm doing a race with Head Bob of a ROM hack called Fire Red Leaf Green Plus. Uh, it's pretty much just regular Fire Red, except they added instant text, instant HP bars. You can set the EXP yield to be double or half or none. Uh, so it's pretty. It's kind of like the speed. It's kind of like a speed choice ROM. They made it into a ROM hack, and then there's also difficulties as well. So what we're pretty much doing is setting the difficulty to easy. So if the Pokemon are really easy to beat. We're setting the XP to double, and we're just gonna stop with uh, Charmander versus Blastoise. So uh, yeah, it's kind of just like Fire Red, but much easier because <laughs> Fire Red didn't level. suck. <laughs> Uh, and then I'm doing a, another race, or not race, another run right after that. For some reason, when I submit two runs for this marathon, I like to schedule me back to back. But uh, uh, I'm doing a run of dr this ROM hack called Dreams. Uh, it's a really, really good ROM hack. I highly recommend any of you check it out if you're interested in, in ROM hacks. Really well put together. And what is it, ROM hack of? It's a fire red hack, but it's completely, it's set in a completely different region. So it's not like a race, it's not just like a, an improvement hack. Um, set in a brand new region, there's lots of Gen 7 mechanics, you run with a shiny Eevee, and you can evolve it into any Eeveelution you want after the, right before the third gem, you can buy stones, and they all, you can get any of the Eeveelutions with stones. So, uh, I won't spoil the surprise as to which one I'm using, but there are actually two viable options. I wrote it one, and Garf wrote it one as well. We, all, we would have raced this at PSR Marathon, actually, so, um, that would have been really interesting to see, but, uh, I'll have Garf commentating this at least, and the creator actually is going to be commentating as well. She's pretty uh, excited that we're uh, we're speedrunning her game, <laughs> so, so cool, it should be right? a lot of fun. I mean, like, I remember like watching Garf a while ago, and it did seem really, really good. <laughs> yeah, super. Yeah, cool. the music's really good. They they took a lot of they took a lot of music from like late. She took a lot of music from like later gen games and ported it over to the Game Boy. Uh, and the Elite, and the Elite Four music is so good. It's a mashup of um, Kalos, Alola, and um, Gen Five region. Which one? The name escapes you. <laughs> Unova. Yeah. The Iris one? Uh, no, just the regular Elite Four. Oh, the regular Elite Four. Okay. Yeah. Unova. The... Yeah. So it's it's a mashup of those three. And there's lots of other great music from other games as well. You hear some, you'll see some weird like music from other games that aren't even Pokemon, but it just fits really well. Yeah, and you know, your first run's on. I'm gonna say this all in UK time because that's yeah, yeah, uh, the times I can I see. Yeah, so... <laughs> that is, uh, on the 18th yep. of September at half nine for the first run. Just stay, <laughs> just stay, and then you can watch both of them back to back. Easy yeah, and then about 11, 11 UK time for uh. For the second and then for you for 
Eastern Time US, it would be like 8 p.m. Or yeah, 8 p.m. for the uh, no, 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 6 p.m. Yeah, yeah, half, yeah. Well, half six for the first one. These games. Right. Second one will be half, I half eight. No, yeah, no, yeah, no. <laughs> God, no <laughs> time zones. <laughs> And this this marathon raises money for a uh, dog a dog shelter. Um, I guess it's uh, just to help help find them new homes, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. So a really good cause. So if you like dogs, check it out. Donate. I'll also point out on the next day on the nineteenth at five past six UK time. Barney's hide and seek. Classic. Barney is my favorite Pokemon. So. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> All right, then for UKSG Autumn 2021 on the 19th of September, uh, it does not clash with their uh, Barney's Hide and Seek. Uh, if I can find it, cool. At, uh, at 11 in the morning, uh, I guess it'll be noon in Europe. Very, very early for HG. <laughs> True. Uh, train card game, any percent, no, no ace again. So that'll be. Hopefully, hopefully it'll go as well as the last one. And also, there is Long Speed Run Summit. It's a oh, 2021, another Japanese marathon. On the 23rd, we got Sugarma with Pokemon Mystery Dungeon, Explore the Sky, Any Percent, No Wonder Mail, Wii U, Japanese. That's obviously Japanese, I guess. Uh, that is on at half five? Half five. Uh, on the 23rd and then the last set of marathons uh back to australia uh across, across all speed runs uh got jt jt magic man with omega ruby any percent uh on the a hmm? didn't know he's running a while again recently uh i i haven't seen I mean, him i guess he is i mean i guess it, hopefully <laughs> Hopefully it's not I'm a case of just going running this, by the time he is doing it. Yeah, this is uh, 20 past 8 in the morning on the 8th of October. Then later on that same day is Let's Go Eevee or Pikachu Eevee. I'm not sure which one aspects. It's okay, Pikachu. It's, uh, actually, it seems like it's a Choose the Game. Choose the Game. Oh, interesting. Yeah. Aspect does run Pika and Eevee. So, bit wall right there. Uh, that's at 10 I to... I was such confidence and I was so wrong. <laughs> hey, if it worked though, if you were right... <laughs> I know. It was a 50-50, you tried. Yeah. Easy but that's you it. Don't. Yeah. Yeah, that is at 10 to 8 though. And then last but not least, on the 9th at quarter past 2, uh, we're still with Pokemon uh, White 2 with the Pokemon World Tournament. 10 hour speedrun. Oh, yeah. I, this, I know this marathon. Yeah, it's the one where you got in the longest Pokemon run ever. It's so, so cool. long. I mean, it's it's yeah. not because it's not a PMD run, but it's up there. Yeah, <laughs> yeah it's yeah. not recruit them all. Things can go bad, too. So I'll, uh, it, when you're in doing the world tournament and stuff, it's pretty easy to just like die on the last turn from a random crit on like the third fight and have to redo that segment. And it's really annoying. So. And I'm assuming PAX Australia is in person? Yeah, I, so. I believe so. Is it? I'd be surprised if it is. But Yeah, because I know like, they're having you... their lockdown stuff lately and they have to cancel. They're like, pretty, they're pretty strict stuff. with the COVID stuff down there. Yeah. True. It's just weird because, like, is there digital PAX? Yeah, that was my thinking. Yeah, exactly. I thought they just canceled PAX if it wasn't going to be in person. So my thought would be that that's in person. Um, in which case, that is a very long in person run. We will maybe find we'll out. See. We'll see. <laughs> yeah, yeah, we will see. On in three, four, uh, about a month. Yeah. So that's that's we'll, all the marathon. We'll runs. know for the next episode. Yeah, we will know in the next episode, and that is that is all the marathon runs for that seem to be coming up. Uh, cool thing just to mention, uh, on the 2nd of October, this is going to be, oh, this, 
I believe the current plan is there's going to be a Pokemon Speedrunning Community Day in view of the cancelled PSR Marathon. Uh, that was being. Uh, it was originally set by Pseudo Trainer. That sounds yeah, right. Yeah, he suggested. Yeah. Yeah. Either way, if you go to the the original, uh, like the big, big PSR Discord that not many people are really talking now because everyone's got their own individual Discords communities. It is currently being organized there. Um, we're not going to be, because that, the 2nd of October is a Saturday. It's the first Saturday of October. Podcast won't be live that day just because of this happening. So, there's not currently a plan to use the PSR channel, but... Probably will be. I don't know. We'll see. If you're not familiar with the idea, the whole thing is that um, just get, just go online and stream some sort of Pokemon speedrun on Community Day. Hop into people's streams and say hi. Uh, it's just like a big show of everyone. Yes. It's not. There's no like central organization for it. You don't have to like submit anything to be part of PSR Community Day. The only thing you have to do to be part of PSR Community Day. Community day is to be the PSR community. Wow, you did it. Congrats. <laughs> Even gonna. Apparently. <laughs> but yeah, so I think I was gonna say, I would obviously, you can do what you want. If there's someone running Dash, going to watch Pokemon Dash. That's the only thing I will recommend. <laughs> watch, um, yeah, watch Dash. Watch or Dash. Rumble Blast. Or Rumble Blast. You can you can run uh, watch Rumble that uh, Rumble Blast. I keep saying Dash, <laughs> but Dash those on the, the <laughs> Those are the only two one good Pokemon games. So you have to do those two. Yes. Or Channel. So, what if I want to see Channel? That is true. If someone runs Pokemon Channel, if you run if you stream Pokemon Channel, do you instantly just get DMCA'd? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Jordan surely owns Pokemon Channel, right? That is actually one of the Pokemon games I don't own. How? Wow. You own all of them in like nine languages. <laughs> <laughs> because the PAL version is not cheap. Well, no, no GameCube cheap. So particularly, uh, GameCube games are particularly cheap at the moment. That's just an issue with the retro gaming market. But no, like Pokemon Channel is quite a bit more expensive. Fair, because uh, it comes I'm... with all that content. But exactly. now that Pokemon TV Plus or whatever is out. Maybe people will be like, well, I don't have to hoard this Pokemon channel anymore because I can get the anime in not GameCube quality. Well, why would you want that? You want it in GameCube quality. What yeah, if it's all I mean, I, no, I want, it on Poke, I want it on Game Boy Advance video quality, but you take what you can get. Yeah. Also, I guess I will point out, I, don't also, I also don't own Pokemon Typing Adventure or Pokemon Conquest. But anyway. Do you want, do you want <laughs> to borrow a broken copy? <laughs> Yeah, sure. The the payment and shipping for a broken version would be so worth it. No, I, I ordered it. It's it's a UK game. I ordered it from the UK and it wasn't that Yes, bad. but it's currently in America. We'll get one from the UK. Well, yeah, I could do that. Yeah, that would be the point. Yeah, just do that. That sounds like a way better idea. <laughs> what is happening? I don't know. <laughs> I don't we're, know. We're anyway. Reaching, we're solving. This is problem solving live. Problem solving live. Going into leaderboard round of live. Uh, That's what PSR edgy. stands for, is problem solving. Go really on. good. One word. All right. Uh, May Etchi, are you wanting to leave? I know you said you were planning on leaving. Don't but... phrase yeah. it like that. What are you on about? <laughs> <laughs> I have to do dog things, but yes. That's fair. I have to play Psychonauts too. Sorry, I have to do important real life things. That's fair enough. Thanks for having us. Thank you. Thank, Thank you, you for very much. Thank you for having us. Thank you guys. Yes. I will say, um, oh, I did not make a command for this because I'm not smart. But go follow Etchy. <laughs> There's a V. 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 I thought you were not going to be here some way. <laughs> I thought you were going to be playing Psychonauts. <laughs> no, not yet. You haven't been like. Signed us off yet. Hey, that's my Twitch account name. <laughs> my channel is currently useless because I'm running a mass raid bot banning command. I'm I, I still need to go here. through that. But yeah, it's take so care. Slow. <laughs> All right. Thank you for take coming care. on this one. It was fun having you guys. Take care. Bye. Bye bye. 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 And now.
We've got the 20 hour long beat ball roundup, I guess. The best part of the podcast. Best part. So, Red Blue Abdul Lane. Oh, I guess we haven't mentioned anything about the Red Tournament. Oh, right. Yeah, that's happening. Yeah, that, that, that start? Um, I think. I don't know. I don't. I don't know. I'll be honest. I don't follow it. It's red. <laughs> Pretty soon, I think. It's either soon. I, I know they had the. Uh, last week there was the draw, so they might be in the middle of like everyone might be in the middle of organizing matches. Maybe even done the first one or two. Uh, but yeah. Pokemon Red, eighty percent glitch list. I'm delaying in forty fifth with a one fifty thirty. Um, Econ Sean with a one fifty one forty nine. I'm trying to think. I think these are all people that are that are in it. Well, like they've signed up. Uh, Wards, I believe, signed up with a. 152, like, or 152, 58. There might also be a fair few of these that are like qualifying times. Because I, I, I might be, I might be a bit wrong. So tell me if I'm wrong. There was like a qual, the there was qualifying the going into it. Yeah, sorry, go. Yeah, yeah. The tournament is, if I recall correctly, is with no instant text. So um, I believe that any runs submitted with no instant text would just be on this leaderboard. They'd just be slower. But because uh, I don't know if there's a separate leaderboard category for that. I could be wrong, though. I don't believe there is. I don't, I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> but yeah. Uh, I, don't, I don't think there is, no. Yeah. Pink Panther ran out 100, uh, top 100 with a 154.18. Uh, God, that name. Short Sexy Fan with a 156.37 in 148th. And what have in 155th? With a one fifty seven oh six, I have to. Uh, um, what? Yeah. What is? Oh, because what is? Um, Water versus Frank McFancy versus the Legend Eater. I think. I believe it's a Legend Eater. That's one of the races. So that, that's that. That's a race that it seems like it was pretty hyped up from like uh, the. When it was like drawn, I remember mm. correctly. Yeah, I'm um, trying to find where that is, but yeah, anyway, I'll let you find that. Whilst in for any percent no save corruption, third place for Wambro within eleven forty nine, only sixteen seconds behind Stochi. Uh, quick, oh, also pickle plop. Shouts pickle plop. Uh, pickle plop. Forty sixth with a twelve twenty three. Very good time. Uh, any percent uh, English risk with a 126.127. Uh, Econ Sean with a 127.077. And uh, Besson with a 127. Oh, another 19th place time tied with a 127.077. Uh, and then Pingle Plop with a catch them all English time of 143.46. Putting them in 10th. Uh, Pokemon training card game, fourth place, uh, fourth place for the Jaffa Man 5 with a 49.54. And then Frank C sneaking into the top 10 in ninth with a 54 flat. Back from, back in July, I've been fooled once again. <laughs> it, it, I'll explain this every time, it goes off the verified time I believe. And when it's added to the board, so there's, there may be a few that are like, not actually in the last month. Um. Fifth place in Pokemon Snap 100% on N64, the uh, Akafuku with a 24.07 using Turbo at 10 Hertz. Uh, Pokemon Stadium Gym Leader Castle Round One, the Dunsparce Dudes, uh, with an emulated 21st time of 136.48. Impressive. Anyone finishing that run really? Never mind. Never mind. Two. A certain degree of quickness. But yeah, looking at that, that's like that's within three minutes of world record. That's impressive. Also shows the fact that that's a twenty one emulator time. So there's a very there's a lot of good times at the top of that ball. Yeah, it's a yeah big. I think emulator is quite a bit faster. Yeah. That. Yeah. So uh, the tournament for red, the first races are scheduled. Some of them are still being scheduled, I think. But we've got a couple of races starting up on the thirteenth, which is in two days. Oh, okay. That's, that's good. Uh, would you be able to get the link to the channel open play at the end? 
Running live. <laughs> or to the Did website? Yeah. Uh, it will, like, I guess, like, the link to the channel that will be streamed on. Because I assume it's being streamed somewhere live. Or are they just uh, being done weird. offline? Try to speed gaming. Yeah, it's okay. probably going to be, the, the races are going to be streamed live and probably on speed gaming. Because that's game. what the fire red turban did. <laughs> yeah, that would, uh, yeah, that would make sense. Um, anyway, back to the leaderboard round with Pokemon Gold Silver. Uh, any percent glitchless. Thirteenth, nerdy nerd thirty-two with a three nineteen twenty-three. And on the Japanese version of the board, third place to Rinchan, uh, three eleven twenty-five. And then for any percent, second place to Randall, only one second behind. With an 8 minute and 41 second time, that's literally as close as you can get. <laughs> that is the closest you can get, seeing as they don't seem to be using decimal. Uh, Crystal, any percent glitchless. Ocean Bagel in 6th with a 3, 14, 15. Uh, Ruby Sa oh, Sapphire. <laughs> any percent glitchless. 5th place for Blue Magma at 2, 33. That's a, that's a very good time. And then 40th for uh, Jackie G, uh, yeah. Jackie GCN 227.36. Uh, were you about to say something, then? Oh, no, I just said that's a good time. Oh, it is a very good time. Close to two hours in Sapphire previews. Uh, second place on the Japanese board for Miriri 6 with a 156.12. Uh, Coliseum, 80% English. 16th for me <laughs> with a 343.20. It was so good until the last couple of splits and then everything went bad. Uh, <laughs> everything went so bad. But I got PB. Um, 19th for Casperus with a 346.58. 26th for JP, uh, 355.40. JP and actually then... got a new PB last night, actually. I don't remember oh. what his time is, but. Congrats. That's JP. And then Capital with Emulator 45th with a 418.36. And then No Snags Ryzikin in second with a 341.46. That Bolton time seems. <laughs> Just for like, in terms of distance. But Bolton's amazing. Ryzikin's amazing as well. Bolton's very amazing. Piccolo. Uh, Fire Red Leaf Green, 31st emulator uh, for. Bang Yong Gook with a 207.46 in 23rd, uh, Kid Rocker with a 207.58 in 28th, Arif, Arifot, Ar Arifot, that person with a 209.53 and then G, -Star G Shark 54 in 40th with a 217.01. And then Miriri again uh, in second on the Japanese any percent board with a 201.56. Shiru's uh, world record time with a 230.04 in Emerald Glitchless. And then also Wyrax with a 35th place emulator with a 256.48. Uh, that's a re, uh, that's like a resubmission time. Uh, Mystery Dungeon Red Blue Rescue Team. Valkyrie in fourth for that category uh, with a 253.03. And then in the Japanese version of that category, Shigama in second with a 220.46. And Mozzarella Cheese with a 225.35. Then on the emulator versions of the board, Cabral in sixth with a 252.33. Uh, Shigama with the 80% no one male Japanese Wii U world record with a 145.04. And then secure account with the 80% unrestricted English emulator world record with a 150.41. Oh, Shorty. Wait, Shorty, what time did you get? <laughs> what was your PB? In the meantime, though, Pokemon Diamond Pearl. Uh, any yeah, I remember that. I, <laughs> I was watching that run. Do you remember the time? I don't remember the time, but oh. Shorty probably does. Uh, fifth place for Ravenia 
with a 3.441. Uh, that in the Japanese boards. Uh, for the emulator leaderboards, Melo Magog with a just under 5 hour time, a 4.59.33. Right now, second. And then. Guren? Swedish? <laughs> Guren. Guren. They, uh, they got a 1.15.02. Dotted with a 2.08.37. Uh, by Red Leaf Green. Well done. Congratulations. That is a very good time. I say this, I feel like I say this, uh, to be honest, if you just finish a run, it's a very good time. No matter what, really. Just beating some of these runs is challenging itself. Yeah, just, challenging just, pull, up, itself. just pull a poker guy, Shelty. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome, Battle Revolution. Yes, Back and you've sent round one, the Orange Summoner, uh, in 8th place emulator, oh, like with an emulator time of 3.45.34. Uh, Pokemon Mystery Dungeon Explorers of Time, Shady Gamer with the world record time of 5.26.41. Like a new with a third place time of three of five thirty six forty eight, uh, Halkiri with a fifth place time of five thirty seven oh nine, and then Ethan twenty six sixth with a five forty four thirty five. I, I, yeah, they they won't all be in the same race, which is good. I'm kind of good in a way the fact that people are totally running it. So some of these runs. It's actually no. Yeah, never mind. I'm just, actually, yeah, no, that one confuses me. Run date, August 17th. Submitted, August 16th. Maybe it's because Australian. That might be the case. I just be time zone thing. I'm taking it. No. Whatever, I'm just mumbling to myself at this point, aren't I? Uh, <laughs> yeah. The N% no one mail emulator times. Eponymous with a 521.45. Australia Cheese in second with a 533. Flat and then Cabral in third with a 546.21. Pokemon Ranger Shadows of Almia, the best Pokemon Ranger game. Uh, 80% on the DS in English. Second place for its 10 sheet with a 913.37. Uh, fair play to whoever verified that and the comments also thanks them. Pokemon Platinum, 80% glitchless English. MDS, Minnow in third with a 342.11 uh, on emulator, uh, Hypnoshark in second with a 422.37 and then Gibraltar on the emulator with a 326.46 bad run apparently. <laughs> uh, were you about to say something Aina? Oh no, I was saying no, it's a good time for Minnow. Uh, I'm not yeah. sure if which 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 uh which road he's doing for plat, but a couple options. Uh, I can imagine. Is that is this is this the category you could use either Chimchar or Piplup? I'm not sure. Um, I believe it. I believe so. That would make sense, <laughs> but I I don't know off the top of my head. Uh, so yeah. On to Explosive Sky, Shigama with the world record with a 440.47. And then in fourth, we have uh, Pi with a 508.20. Hello, Shiru. <laughs> uh, on, emulator, on the emulator board in third, Eponymous with a 528.29. Uh, for Beat Dark, uh, Beat Dark Rai, win the mail. Mozzarella Cheese in second with a 659.09. And then there's Shigama's recruit them all. No one to mail Japanese Wii U time. 54 hours, 33 minutes, and 2 seconds. I'm going to assume. I don't know if that's. There, there was three breaks. There was three break breaks, I'm going to guess, based on that. So one of them, I guess, looking at that. Maybe stream crashed. I don't know. Funny. Uh, Pokemon Rumble, 80% console passwords, 28th for Big Bat or Fibat? Fibat, I'm gonna guess. 4305. Uh, 80% with emulator, no passwords, 5th for Shiny Haunter SJ with a 4527. 
and then that was moved for historical reasons. Cool. Uh, second place for Tukli Rat, as mentioned earlier, 339, uh, 333 39 in Heart or Soul Silver, 90% glitchless. Uh, with that one in particular, and then on the any percent glitchless emulator board, seventh for Al Alfonso uh, two with a 431.46, and then Harsh with a 557.25. But it seems like it's quite a few emulator times, which is always great to see. Uh, Poker Park Wii Pikachu's Adventure. Second place for Brady Boo on the Japanese League World with a 213.48. Tiny face. Uh, fifth for level 1 with a 225.56. And then sixth for Shimichoko with a 226.49. Uh, for all friends on the English version of the board, seventh place for Rob the Gamer with a 713.11. And then. For the Japanese Ice Tree miscellaneous board, Brady Boo with a world record with a 47 11. Uh, into black white, any percent English, 12th place for Swiftly with a 315 40. And then Demo with a 24 place time of 324 58. Uh, for the Japanese board, 4th for Gons. With a or oh, Gonzi, I'm gonna guess because it's an underscore. With a 328.21 done back in 2020, I've been caught out again. <laughs> and then Poker Life or Pokey Life with a 80% English emulator time of 313.46. Poker Park 2 wins beyond. Zack Attack with the world record with a 234.45. And then second, Brady Boo with a 235.53. That might be actually... That might be mentioned in the last podcast. I don't know. Oh, well. Uh, black, white... Uh, black 2, white 2. Any percent score with the any percent world record with a 311.13. Uh, back from the previous podcast. But in second, Minnow with a 311.35. Then Swiftly with a 316.59. And then the Japanese board we got Buster Poke with a 317.15 mentioned have earlier. Run. Hmm? Yeah, we didn't have Minnow's run in the noted runs. As a second because I probably time. missed it. <laughs> Oops. Oops. Hey, hey, there's always one. <laughs> At least one normal. Uh-huh. Uh, yeah, Dexy in second, as mentioned earlier, with a 317.53. And then Ringo uh, in third with a 329.23. And then Revenue with a 344.27. I would normally see like four or Japanese runners on live the ball. I had submitted in the last month. Watch there actually have been one earlier and I just forgot about it. But that's cool to see. We'll see stuff like that. Pokemon X. Pokemon X Y, any percent English, truly in fifth with a 344.33. Joylin in 27th with a 418.12, and then Tyler in 28th with a 421.11. Uh, Omega Ruby, any percent, Poker Guy with the world record with 303.07. Truly in third with a 304.37. Um, I have another one that I missed, I guess. And then Joy Lynn in 25th with a 327.52. Alright, <laughs> May in 6th. Nice, nice comment. <laughs> yeah. Uh, 308.52. I'm going to assume that's related to Museum. Uh, getting confused by Zubat. <laughs> and then hitting yourself. Uh, Cygnus in 10th with a 312.40. Really, really good legendaries in that run. Like she got really, really good runs. Not run. Well, she got really, really good legendaries in the run. Uh, Nox Connery in twelfth with a three fifteen fifty three. Nox my king. Uh, then twenty first Joy Lynn with a three thirty four fifteen. In Let's Go Eevee, Headstrong with a sixth place time of three oh four oh one, which as put in the comment, it's not her, like it's not her real PB. But it is a leaderboard PB. I think similar to 
I think it was like a dodgy Twitch VOD or something. Or like dodgy OBS. Uh, Ugh, in... Yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah, no, it's good to get a peek. It's good. I get to get a time on the board. Oh, uh, yeah. 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 And then 19th Saijay with a 312.04. Uh, probably not bad for a deep wrist. Yeah. Bad boy. Then Iron. <laughs> 13th place with a 31103. This run was really dumb. I caught a glowing Lurd Chansey in Mount Moon and I got Gloom. Sounds like. You know, my auto evolved into Gloom. I had a level 24 Pikachu coming out of Mount Moon. <laughs> so I just. I didn't set up any X items on Rival. Rival 3 and Misty, I believe. And then I just like destroyed Nugget Bridge. But obviously there was like time loss. I think it's just time loss overall because of that. But I got a gloom out of it, so that was a nice bonus. Uh, no, that seems like optimal play to me. <laughs> <laughs> uh, you got to catch Chansey. Unreal rule. Uh, but yeah, twentieth place for Leggy Star Scream. Uh, with a three twenty one thirty eight. In 24th, Psychic Champion with a 327.05. And Shiny Hole Lucha with a 35th place time of 351.42. And then Diploma, Green Lightning and Aspect with a 533.51. Then going to Pokemon Sword, English 1.2 plus uh, for the English board. So Yoshida Shu with a 413.50. Uh, so there's a lot of candy people. A lot of people are running candy floss right now. Uh, all these people are finishing runs with candy floss because it's easier to do. So yeah, I, I actually just got shield and I got a controller. <clears throat> so and that's the that's the category I'll be starting with with shield. So I and why? <laughs> no. Why to candy if... floss or why to shield? Uh, mostly candy floss. I oh, just wanted to do that to start, and then I'll move on to the more <laughs> consistent. Honestly, category. to be honest, I, 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 I am a bit known for take, like being taking the mick out of Candy Floss, but honestly, do Candy Floss for Shield. <laughs> do Candy Floss for Shield seriously? <laughs> like I'm playing, I'm playing through. I'm like, wow, this is not. It's not terribly difficult. And yeah, it's. I've not looked too much into the route, so but I know I know Jim Freak and uh, Josh have been working on the the notes for the Shield version. Uh, but yeah, so Yoshida Shu with the four thirteen fifty with Candy Force, Etienne in sixth with a four fourteen fifty three with Candy Force. These are only sword. Uh, Rafa Piero fifteenth uh, with a four twenty two thirty seven with Candy Force. <laughs> Like, Candle Force is a lot more consistent if you are looking to run Sword or Shield. Definitely go with Candy Force. Would but you then... say more with Shield? It's more, it's better. Um, well, it's it's better on Sword it's... as a run, but it's oh, okay. I'd say on Shield, Candy Force is better than Arcan uh, Arcanine Excadrill. If you just want to finish runs and not worry about, yeah, you don't have to catch, you don't have to catch the Drillbur. Yeah, I mean honestly, <laughs> best recommendation. Run Sword, uh, run, uh, run Sobble Shield. Because Sobble's better. <laughs> <laughs> it's better than Candy Floss, in my opinion. But yeah, uh, it actually is a good route, though, the Shield. It's not run too much, but actually did a good job with that. Uh, Nivadra in 23rd with a 4.30.59. Ghouls in 26th with a 4.33.10. Uh, I believe they actually have a PB in the queue. Uh, so that's, I don't know the time off the top of my head, I could quickly check that. But they're like a very new runner. And like they've been getting, like they've been getting good times. Uh, okay, there's nothing there. Unless it may have been verified. I, I'm looking into this probably pointlessly too much. Yeah, okay. Yeah, they got a, a 419.55 and that put them up to 11th. I knew it was a big PB. I did want to just take note of that. 
because it is a very good run, especially when you're, you're newer to the like, to the run. Uh, pickle pop in twenty eight with a four thirty six thirty six green lightning with a four thirty seven fifty five, and then rose clover with a six twenty nine fifty four. Uh, second place for Jim Freak with a four eleven thirty uh, in Shield. Uh, it's Shield English one point two plus C F I yeah. I don't know if that's in this, but yeah, I think she. I think she used Candy Floss. No, uh, uh, yeah, definitely chose Candy Floss, but I just meant more if it's a FFC emote in here. <laughs> it is not. Uh, Daijay in eleventh with a four twenty seven fifty five, and then Cory Otter in eighteenth with a four thirty eight twenty six. Uh, any percent sword Japanese 1.2 plus Carolio with the 1.2 plus world record. It's um it's a fair bit slower technically than the uh, the previous like the 1.1 uh, 1. 1. 1. 1. world record. That's why I didn't mention it in the roundup. Similar for well, okay, Shield's actually a different story completely, but I'll get to that in a second. You see uh, Yoshi just you though in third with a 41255. And then Kazuku uh, with the 80% shield Japanese world record of 43127. There's like a 412 something that's accepted by the Japanese community, but it doesn't have a board. So I oh, okay. Yeah, it seems yeah. pretty low compared to Sword. Yeah, Slow, like yeah, it's definitely a time that can be beaten with uh, with some effort from uh, some effort from Kazuku, but still, it is it's a world record on SLC. Eighty <laughs> uh, percent with DLC, seventh for Shida Shu with a four hundred seven twenty nine, twenty third for Briefry with a four twenty six seventeen, and then for the Shield version, fifteenth for Shawnee seventy one eighty eight with a four thirty three fifty four. Uh, from back in June, I've been tricked once again. And then 22nd for Rando the Bear with a 516.21. And then also, any percent with DLC saw Japanese. Uh, Japanese World uh, Yoshida Shu with a 407.49. Alt PK in third with a 432.51. Yoshida Shu has put a lot of work into uh, Soul Shield this month. I'm sorry, Teapot, Etchi has left. He has left the he's left the call. He didn't want to spend time going through all these amazing runs. Go at Itchy on Discord. <laughs> he'll, he'll love it. So Pokemon Mystery Dungeon Rescue Team DX. Any percent no wonder mail English mozzarella cheese with any percent yeah, any percent no wonder mail in English with a three oh two fifty four. Zebu's in ninth with a three four nine fifty one. The true ending no wonder mail shady gamer with a 44116 and then recruit them all for mozzarella cheese with a 423304 good grief <laughs> yeah and that's not even the longest run technically because the other one was that, 53 or something props to that guy for <laughs> yeah oh my god like, mozzarella has done so many recruit malls in like all the different pmd games Um, so yeah, new Pokemon Snap in any percent. Third place for Pokemon Noob with a 235.28. Uh, eighth place for Spicy Buns with a 241.07. Axeroy, you know what? I think I think I think I think I think Spicy Buns did a run at in Flame Patels of new Snap, but I could be wrong. If that was the case, then I am very sorry. <laughs> <laughs> I'm very sorry. <laughs> Um, Axe Rider with 11. Can correct me if I'm yeah. wrong, but. Oh, I. Oh, thank you, Splendid. Was this Sorry, like man. four frame flame fatales in the marathon, or was this like a hot fix again? Oh, it was a bonus. It was. I think it was a bon It was a bonus run. There was a. There was an incentive, I believe. Oh, then yeah, that's my bad. <laughs> that is my yeah. bad. I missed that. Um. <laughs> Yeah. Axe Roy in 11th with a 245.21. Philip 
filthy scrub in 19th with a 253.49. And then for all Pokemon 1.x, Quo in third with a 346.02. Uh, Iron. There's a lot uh, of yeah. rumble. <laughs> There's a lot of rumble. A few, a few, <laughs> few raw max here. Um, we got. Wow. Okay, RDA. Huh. Yeah. Uh, so our, there's the Rumble ROM hack. I know nothing about this, but it looks like a really fun game. He's done a lot of different categories here. As far as I know, he's the only one that does runs of this, but I could be wrong. There might be one other person that does. But yeah. Uh, all... <laughs> Not much to say here, but congratulations yeah. on all these uh, good yeah. times. The RDA section. <laughs> The RDA wall, if you will. Um, what's the time? Oh, this has been over two hours. So, we'll quickly scroll through the category extensions. Uh, and then, like, pick a few of them. Oh, there's the no instant text red blue category extension. Ah, there you go. So, these are all raised PBs. But, like, fifth, fifth but good at being simple with a 150.26. Well done. Good time. Uh, all of the alt mains. All of the alt mains. Uh, anything that stands out? Third place for Minute plus Gold Silver. Uh, nerdy Nerd. That trio is pretty fast minutes. on the alt mains. 155, Thunderborn. Ooh. But yeah, the rest of them are. Oh, for Doug Trio. Oh, and Cloister as well, actually. 150, 54. Seems good. Vaporeon, wow. Oh god. That, that's, oh, that's not Vaporeon. Though. <laughs> <laughs> uh, hey RDA. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> you got many good times, well done. Um, eighth please? Uh, so yeah, third place with Nerdy Nerd with that 319-23 Manipolis. Uh, beat Lance and Crystal. Ocean Bagel third with a 230-47. Uh... Do, do, do. All main Blaziken loves Sekiro. 31623. I don't remember if it was in oh. Sapphire or if it was for Emerald. But that seems like a big improvement. That's probably Ruby Sapphire. I know Shiru did a run of Blaziken and Emerald for a Shiru day, and that was uh, that was a lot of fun. <laughs> uh, oh. He he got he got destroyed by the Elite Four. Yeah, yeah. Like, yeah. Three, six, was it the, I think it was the champ. The champ actually. Mm. Not a fun time. Shiru could say, "Shiru is in chat." <laughs> <laughs> and then also Israel cool with the old main post one pit for twenty-seven fifty-four. Pause the room to have dinner. Yo, fair play. I respect that, especially on the Shiru <laughs> day. Uh, Pokemon Emerald. The category essentially there. Battle Factory is still, uh, Silver Singles. Second place for Kurt with a 4302. And then for doubles, world record for Farming Sim, 4842. And then. Okay, this seems impressive. This actually might be. I'm, I'm gonna just. I'm gonna link this because I. Blindfolded Emerald. And you're saying that is, That's really impressive. Yeah, let's just grab that link. Shifty has competition. Shifty does have competition. I don't think Shifty has done Emerald. I know they've done no. Red. Gen 1 and, and yellow. 2, yeah. yeah. Mostly. But without ever seeing this run, <laughs> admittedly, this just still seems impressive. Uh, just under 6 hours for blindfolded. That's mad. Uh, got the Pokemon Coliseum Kyrie extensions. Recently added, alt mains, uh, Bayleaf Espeon, because you've got double mains in the games. Uh, 40859 uh, for Lord Nando 1, and then for Broken or Espeon, uh, Lord Nando. This seems like an old run, apparently. Though, I think I think that has been quicker times with Croc. Like from uh, maybe someone like Zeke. But it's still technically world record as of right now. Uh, 
by Redleaf Green. Alt main pose Raticate, 313.36. That's a two-hour game. I was <laughs> I was thinking it was like, oh right, wow, that's pretty close to world record. Like the any percent world record. And then forget it, it's actually yeah. like a two. But still that is no, I mean just I wouldn't imagine Raticate being great, so I'm gonna say that's probably still a very solid time. And then Yeah, there's a bit of there's been a few alt mains that have been done with this, but uh that's yeah, Mankey is a little bit faster, I think, but and then the other starters are all. But yeah, it's hard to do an alt main in, in Fire Red. The, the game yeah. is just bad. Yeah, it's, hard, it's very difficult to get a good time in that as is. Yeah, Wobbles was second for Venus though, for the two thirty eight forty eight. I did not know you yeah, had a world record. They've they've been they've been asking me for a lot of questions about the Venusaur route. Uh, I have the official best time. Um, Exarian did has done a time that's definitely better, but it doesn't. There's no video for it. All right. Okay. There you know. Uh, Diamond Pearl carry extensions. Manipulus any percent. Aeon's torn with the emulator world or with the world record of one twenty seven twenty four. Uh, Argo Soul Silver Etchy. The 351 flat in Manipulus Glitchless. And then not too far behind, Affected Ashes in 10th with a 352.30. Uh, Jimmy with the uh, Manipulus 80%, 218.29. And then. That was Uchi. his race. That is the was race. Is that the marathon? Yeah. That was a marathon. Why? Maybe I got that might that might have been a race outside the marathon. Maybe I'm pretty sure his because didn't Stocky did Stocky win? It seemed like uh, it seemed like it, yeah. But well, so two eighteen twenty nine, very good time, I'm gonna guess. And then Stocky in second with a two twenty eight oh eight. Yeah, Jimmy's uh, been working hard on that recently, from what I could gather. So yeah, that is probably a very good time. Cool. Yeah, work paying off, like, we're paying off there. Uh, Manipulous Glitchless for Platinum. Uh, Joylin in 7th with a 4, 17, 52. Uh, Old Main Pokes Rose Home. 5, 50, 36 for Bard, That's Barry, and Boy. That's very interesting. Yeah. <laughs> not, not a Pokemon you normally see. Especially for an Old Main. Um, Manipulous Black White uh, World Record. Utora with a 335.02. Uh, apparently, plenty of time to come off. Uh, took a took a little rat uh, with black to white to Manipulus 329.31. What Zubat is evolving? <laughs> All right, I guess something. I guess the Zubat was evolving in the run. Uh, what time with trade on main Archeops with a 405.34. Quiet Megastones 45, which is the longer version, but still, still the coward category. It doesn't get all of them. Why does no one want to oh, do the online? Oh, there's more. Okay. Yeah, there's more. There's one like there's one where you have to do like you have to go to like a thousand. You know how they're like hidden dens. Oh. Okay. You gotta go to like a thousand of them with like online. I believe is like one of them or something like that. Um. But yeah, so 45 Mega Stones, Austrian game with this uh, world record time of 7.20.04. Um, Beat Red, which was new last month. Um, but Saiji in second was a 3.57.44. And then 10th place for Psychic Champion Ditch Bull, 36.26. Uh, do do. A lot of trade alt mains. The one that I want to like probably highlight. I, I mean, for highlighting the base on time. A lot of EV illusions here too. Yeah. So Glaceon, Jolteon, Sylveon, Umbreon. Yeah. Uh, there's people that are, maybe Vaporeon. No, Vaporeon is not there yet. I think people are working on getting the evolutions for something. I've heard, I don't know too much of this, but I feel like there's a reason why people are doing the evolutions specifically. That and people like oh, evolutions. Yeah. Um, but also to point out, trade on main Landorus. 356.48. Huh. 
very, very interesting mod. And then also just below that, Trailer Main Pseudo Wudo. I know like Wartap is a channel that point redemption. Awful. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, that's, these, these are things he does for his community. Yeah. Yeah. Um, complete post game, Nivadra with a 52734. Um, get to Calyrex, Great Ice Fixing with a 12003. Uh, fun fact, she did that without wearing glasses. <laughs> as part of a meme race between her and Green Lightning. Yeah, uh, they just decided to not wear glasses. <laughs> I don't know why it led to that. They just did. <laughs> and then also, uh, Lako Lako in. Oh, maybe Ayako. Might be Ayako. Ayako. The Japanese. But anyway, fourth place time with 512 for the Dynamax Adventure 1 player. And. I think. Because I'm not. I don't know how many of these are like single ones. Uh, Kids Club, like Stadium Two, had three wins. Archie Two called with their one forty-three point nine. These are these mini games. No clue. <laughs> I've never played Stadium. <laughs> I've never. I have never played Stadium, so I don't have no idea. Looks like it's a couple couple people going at it here with these these uh, category extensions. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, oh, maybe it's not a minigame because there's a mi minigame champion. It seems a wild and unique game that I'm not familiar with. No. Oh, apparently I accidentally put Pokemon Yellow down here. Cool. <laughs> <laughs> there's always something. Uh,. Also, I guess to point out RDA with alt roots, uh, Cindy plus Nate plus Joel, uh, world record time with a 53025. Back from July, I got tricked. <laughs> I should really read the date, like the bigger date first. But anyway, Pokemon Yellow, uh, the main ones to the list, put there. Fan League with Glitchless Classic, the 20513. That's actually. Bad. Yeah. That's very, that's very good. What's the best time in the, that category? I know it's 2020. Oh yeah, oh, it's it's written right there. I'm so stupid. <laughs> I am blind. Exarian, yeah, he has yeah. that. Yeah, Exarian has both the Gen 1 and 80% English with Classic World Records, at least. I, I don't know if they have them for Gen 2 as well, but... Yeah, I'm not sure, but he knew, yeah. yeah, he definitely has Gen 1. Yeah, and then Pokemon Training Card Game Category Extensions, Squirtle and Friends, Franksy with a 54 flat back in July. <laughs> um, that's also July below it. Not going to show me that time. And then Rumble is a battle between Akira and RDA. <laughs> they, they, they have a lot of world records. In those categories, uh, I'm gonna just randomly pick a curious collect them all, monotype all, grass, no passwords, with a 158.13. Actually, let's also um, point out NA with the one second time from February the second. I think it's probably just an SRC error. I don't know. It does happen a lot with. It's only. Battle Revel, not Battle Revel. It's only um, Rumble that this issue seems to pop up with the uh, leaderboard bot. I don't know what it is. Um, Pokemon Snap category extensions. Jinx percent on Wii Virtual Console. Spicy Buns is second day at 41.58. And then some other issue that I missed up uh, there with Pokemon Black Blue. 80%. In ninth place, King of the Geeks, five minutes twenty-five, and that's the leaderboard roundup done. My throat hurts. <laughs> Good job, Jordan. Powered through that. <laughs> yeah, I really should, probably shouldn't have spoke this much because I'm. I've I've had the sore throat prior to this. Yeah, I would have taken <laughs> a bit of it, but. Uh... I just kept talking. I didn't give you the chance. <laughs> <laughs> that's my. That's on my end. That. 
Okay, I'll just kind of take care of the last little bit here. Um, again, the PSR Community Day is coming up uh, next Saturday, uh, October the 2nd. I'm not sure exactly when, but I guess whenever it's October 2nd in your time zone. Uh, stream any Pokemon speedrun you want with the... I don't know if it's, is it a hashtag or a something or another? Yeah, hashtag uh, PSR, PSR day, I think. Yeah. yeah, something like that. Check the OG PSR Discord for the details on that. Um, so that'll be a lot of fun, and we might get something going on the PSR channel uh, where we kind of showcase or spotlight various runs throughout the day. That's still yeah. to be determined. Yeah. Uh, there's a apparently a Pokemon Mystery Dungeon Explorers of Sky Randomizer Tournament coming up. Uh, Sign-ups will close on the 1st of November, so you got a bit of time to decide whether you want to take part in that. Uh, there is a Discord link to join. I think Jordan will be posting that in the chat. Yeah, it's so it's well. a there it's, it is. yeah, it's a Discord link to the Mystery Dungeon Discord where it has a lot okay. more information and various different links. I just didn't want to. It's like there's a lot, <laughs> but it's in the announcements channel. So if you're interested in that, head over there. Yep. Yeah, uh, that's about it. Uh, if, you, if you, in case you missed it, we had Etchy and Corva May here. We had uh, that was a lot of fun having those two. Um, so be sure to check them out if you haven't already. Jordan will be posting their, plugging their Twitch channels in the chat. And uh, yeah, I think that's about it. Anything else you want to add for today, Jordan? Um. So I was putting the podcast as. Uh, yeah, just, I guess, why one one thing, just like, with it being the 9th of, uh, 9th of September, maybe just like take a moment to reflect on what happened 20 years ago. This is, this is a bit of a turn to compare oh, to what yeah, we've been talking 11th. about. Yeah. 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 So I like, just maybe take a moment to reflect on the events so you, of like 20 years ago, or maybe read something about it if you perhaps were very young at the time. Like, I know I was, I was three at the time. Be taking some time to read about some uh, read stuff about some of the stories yeah oh i, I remember coming yeah. home from school i was in the uk at the time because i used to live there and oh. it was on tv i and i will i will never forget that so yeah yeah just something important to mention like it's important to like for the and keep the memories and the stories of those that were lost and those are survived as well uh even remembered you know all events like this Never want to see them, but they do mm -hmm. stuff like this. Stuff like this does need to be remembered. So, yep. yeah. Other than that, though, uh, nothing that I can. Uh, well, I guess. Yeah, I guess the last thing is our next podcast because of the community day. Oh, yeah. uh, will not be on the second <laughs> of October. We'll be on the 9th of October instead. So we'll we'll tweet out um, details on that, including who we will have as our guests for that week as well. Yeah. So, have a yes. Have a good rest of your day, evening. Everyone, take care. Yep. See you. Thanks, guys. See you later.